What is good y'all? SLX Fortnite. Welcome to an, an in-depth tutorial. I'm a peep game into how I play this game. And over time you guys can learn how I practice. Right, and how I warm up, all this other stuff. The essentials of Fortnite is every single time you do anything you want to shoot. So if I place a build it immediately after I'll shoot. If I do an edit, I'll shoot. If I swap, I'll shoot. If I jump, I'll shoot. If I sprint, I'll shoot. Because the way that Fortnite moves is after every action that you accomplish in Fortnite, you have to shoot a shotgun shot. The reason for that is because at any given moment in this game, in the Battle Royale, any kind of an enemy opponent will spawn in and try to shoot you. So that's why you need to get in the habit of, like, even when I'm playing pubs, when I'm playing ranked, when I'm playing, yeah, pub, ranked, team rumble, whatever game what I'm playing, as I'm playing, whatever I'll do is, every time I'll build and shoot and whatnot, I will be proactive in how I'm playing. So like, in between, like, when I'm playing the battle royale, I know there's no like enemies around me or whatever, but I'll still act as if there are. So for a long time, and this is how um, my content's gonna get better. Eventually, I'll do like ranked content, like ranked. I'll do I'll do ranked 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 games, and then in those ranked games, I'll um, commentate over them. Now, as I commentate over those ranked games, you guys are gonna see like different uh, methodology that I use for this game. One of the main things and the differences in how I practice is shooting chests and loot boxes because you're getting confirmation for aim while looting at the same time. Also I unbound pickaxe. The reason why I unbound pickaxe is because everyone else is just gonna loot for me. Like why would I loot if any everyone else could loot for me? You know what I'm saying? Also, just because I unbound pickaxe doesn't mean it's gone forever. If you use consumables, after your consumables run out, then you're able to use your pickaxe after. So like sometimes if I'm out of mats, what I'll do is I'll swap my something for a consumable or a throwable. I'll use the consumable on the throwable until my pickaxe comes out and then I'll start farming for resources, getting mats. So, see that every time you want to build something, you want to shoot. So we're just gonna do this for a while, because this is how I practice. Like, we're gonna go explain how I practice. Okay. And after that, let's do, do some pyramids. Also to peep game of my grip, the apex grip applies to every game, right? Just pressing buttons with other variations. So, like I said, I'll use different indexes for pressing. Like we have more than one digit on our hands, guys. So like I'll use different digits to press the different keys on the controller. This way, when I'm playing the game and I'm in the battle royale and whatever the situation may be, why I practice with the different digits and I'm pressing the buttons with different digits is because when I go in playing in the actual battle royale, in any given moment, in any given situation, I've already highly adapted to the situations because I practice them in so many different variations. This is how success and how you learn and how you scale as an individual and how you scale as an entrepreneur is doing many of the slight variations within one vertical venture. So with the vertical venture of Fortnite is to continue to do things of how to get better at the game, right? And how do you get better at the game? Shooting loot boxes, shooting loot chests, unbinding certain binds that way you can focus more on different things all right what other binds i unbound ads you don't need to ads in this game it'll slow you down i unbound crouch you don't need to crouch in this game it'll slow you down a 
Also, look at the screen. There's no HUD. What is that? It's because, y'all, we have played Fortnite our entire lives. Everyone, Fortnite is in our DNA. Even if you're not a gamer or whatever, you know what Fortnite is. It's part of your DNA. So if that's the case, I don't need a HUD. I, I, the game's part of me. I, why would I need to know what other notifications or things on my screen? Also, too, with the button binds and the whatever. I'm so good at this game at this point, And I've changed the button binds so many times. That it doesn't matter what the button binds are. I will destroy you. Also, too... I'm so good at this game that's got to the point where my subconscious, instead of, oh, what are my settings, what are my buttons, my subconscious will think pyramid, wall, edit, shoot. That's how good I am at Fortnite now. In the past for Fortnite, I used to have to think about my binds. Okay, I have to press this button for stare. I have to press this button for shoot. I have to press this button for loot, etc, etc. Now that I'm so good at this game, and it's part of my subconscious and my DNA now. When I play this game, instead of thinking about the button binds, I just think, okay, put a floor down. Okay, put a stair down. Okay, put a wall down. Okay, put a pyramid down. Okay, swap my weapons. All right, now edit something. Because I have so much time and I have so much data sets on this game that it doesn't matter what the settings are, number one. Also, it doesn't matter what the given situation is i don't care what the button binds are or whatever all i'm thinking is win fncs and in that given moment on the fncs stage you're not thinking about your binds or whatever what you're thinking about is how do i destroy all our 99 players in the arena also look at this this is the advanced guide about pyramids you can phase in a pyramid see this we, we arrived at this point unintentionally but now we're gonna go in depth with it now that I'm in the pyramid like this right what this is gonna allow me to do is I can fake different enemies right because if an enemy is gonna pull up on me okay they'll think that this cone here is like, in the way but it's not so I can shoot the enemy is this gonna fully automatic let's find out Oh my god, this is a flare medic. It's like a... What kind of gun is this? It looks like a... Um, this kind of reminds me of like a, a COD gun. I'm trying to remember which shotgun it reminds me of. The M... Um, I think it's like the M1014. Well no, the pump shotgun is the M1014. No, this... This is like a, this gun is like a faster, it's not, it's not necessarily an M1014, uh, I don't think it's, it's, it's a 12 gauge either, what kind of gun is this in real life? This gun reminds me of the, it's like a DMR I think. Of the white DMR, the, the semi automatic DMR, so this gun reminds me of the shotgun version. This gun reminds me of like a Black Ops gun, like a Black Ops version. I don't know which weapon though. You look how it shoots, the recoil is so weird. It's like a jelly gun. Ooh, dude, this gun is like the, 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 the gun that Scout uses in TF2. Hmm, sort of. Look at the pellet spread, though. Alright, let's do a little pre-edit tutorial. So, for pre-edits, select your piece. And then practice your edits. That simple. Right? This way you're gonna get better at understanding how pre edits work. Look at that. Alright, 
I'm gonna beat that video here.